What's up everybody? This is Yai and welcome to your top 10 drawings for this week. So obviously I got a lot of great drawings from you guys, but I gotta pick 10, so let's do this. In number 10 we got Joshua with this drawing of Vegeta basically kicks Cell's ass. So what I really like about this drawing is the proportions are well made. He also got the details correctly. And it's not that easy to get the proportions right when you got two characters to draw. So well done Joshua. What I will suggest to you is add more tones of color. For example, in Vegeta's hair you probably could have added two more tones to give it a nice shadow and a nice 3D effect as well as Cell's body, the boots, basically the entire drawing. What I did saw you managed to shade is only Vegeta and still you could probably use three different colors having a slightly a brighter blue in this area and of course a brighter green in this area but overall a pretty good drawing good job joshua and we are moving to number nine and in number nine we got this drawing by maziz of gohan super saiyan blue i really like you kept the proportions right you managed to color in with three different tones i also like the lightning effect you added to him and overall I really liked the composition you gave him by placing those pencils around it. And you also did a really good job on the hair. What I suggest to you is of course work more on the hands and the fingers for example. And try to work more on Gohan's facial expressions. But overall I really like this drawing, great job Maziz, and we are moving to the number 8 spot. Okay, and in number 8 we got this drawing by Paperman. So what I really like about this drawing is the coloring part. As you can tell we got a lot of tones, the blending is really good. We can also see that he used color pencils, for example this purple area. And I also like what you did with the white pen, it kind of gives him a nice glowing effect. I might be wrong, but it feels like you kind of slacked off about the background. I think you could have done a much better job. But overall, that's a really good drawing. Good job, and we are now moving to the number 7 spot. And in number 7, we got this drawing by Maddie who managed to capture Luffy facial expressions really good. I also like to point out that you did a great job about the hands. You managed to keep the right proportions of the fingers. The coloring is pretty good too. If you are wondering about those white dots, I'm guessing it's probably from the flash of his camera, cause here it appears to be fine. So uh, a great job uh, Medi. What I would recommend to you is work on the coloring a bit more, try to get a more contrast look and if you can add the smoke behind them it would look even better. So great job Maddie and we are now moving to the number 6 spot. And in the number 6 spot we got King Jackson drawing Goku vs Frieza. So I really like this drawing, especially the details of the face. I also like the style of inking you put there. You did a nice job with the coloring using the color pencils. And overall I see that you kept the right proportions although the picture is slightly morphed. Next time try to take a picture right above it. And I would also recommend you to work more on your blending abilities. For example this area. But overall a really good drawing, good job Mr. Jackson and now we are moving to the top 5 drawings. In number 5 we got this drawing by Ryza of Future Trunks. 
and Ryza also did a great job keeping the right proportions of trunks. He also did a nice job of the hair. I think the areas you need to work on more is the fingers, for example this one. He also did a nice job on the coloring. So great job Ryza and we are moving to the number 4 spot. And in number 4 we got this awesome drawing by Ramon and I really really love the coloring on this drawing. We can see that he got nice blending abilities. I love the colors he chose for Goku's suit and for Chi Chi's dress. You also did a great job on the details and the proportions. So overall that's a beautiful drawing. Good job Ramon. And we are moving to the top 3. And in the third place we got this awesome drawing by Celine of Majin Vegeta. So Celine managed to capture Vegeta's evil smile very well. The eyes are done correctly, the ears, the hair, a very good job on the coloring. Really I don't have any advice to give you, it's a really good drawing of Vegeta, especially when you color it with color pencils. Great job Celine and we are moving to the number 2 spot. And in number 2 we got this awesome drawing of Obito from Sifat. As you can see, I decided to draw him in a realistic way and I really like what you did with the coloring. I'm guessing that you used color pencils, although it kind of seems in some areas that it's pastel, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, the skin color looks great, the eyes looks great, you kept the right proportions of the face. Your blending abilities are great too. If something stands out more than the rest, it's probably the ear. But overall, it's a really good drawing of Obito. Good job, Sifat. And now we are moving to the number one spot. And in the first place, we got this drawing by Ellen of Goku. Goku Black, Vegeta and Future Trunks. So in terms of details and proportions, it's not the best drawing out of the 10. But I really like the composition of Goku in the middle, Trunks and Vegeta in the back and Goku Black of course. I love the hours you gave them, the blending is done very good. So what I recommend to you is work more on your details and your accuracy. For example, this part should be done way more smoother and you should also pay more attention to the hands, especially this area. But again, I really like this drawing. It kinda sums up the Zamasu arc of Dragon Ball Super and there's no better way to end this arc with this kind of drawing. So good job Ellen, thanks everybody for sending me your drawings. It was tough picking up the top 10, but I think we managed to do a great job. Of course, thanks for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace!